Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to briefly talk about internals of how data modifications such as update, insert, and delete operations are carried out in SQL Server. SQL Server does not read or modify data rows directly on the disk. Every time you access data, SQL Server reads it into memory. Let's see how it is done. First, let's assume that the transactions started and it is updating one row in SQL Server. If the page one where this row is located is not in buffer pool, the page is firstly moved from disk and placed to buffer pool. After the page has been moved, the row is updated with two steps. First step involves changing uh, the record in transactions synchronously. Transaction does not finish unless this change is recorded to transaction log. In the second step, row is modified in memory buffer pool and marked as dirty. After the second step, transaction finishes and a user is returned and update success. As you might have paid attention, the updated page is not saved yet to disk. Why? The main reason is writing to disk causes latency. If we finish transaction after writing to disk, transaction takes a long time to finish, causing bad user experience. To prevent this latency, updated data page is written to disk in background as synchronously. Two processes are responsible for moving updated page to disk. Checkpoint first and lazy writer. Checkpoint it is uh, this process is responsible only writing dirty pages to disk, while lazy write, writer also uh, writes dirty pages to disk but also freeze the memory by deleting least recently used pages. Okay, you might ask uh, when checkpoint is run and when a lazy writer is run. Checkpoint is run within certain interval. You can set it. While lazy writer is run when there is a memory pressure in your operate, operating system. Operating system, when there is not enough memory, operating system starts this lazy writer process and the lazy writer process at the same time frees the memory used by SQL Server. When it comes to insert operations, I'm not going to talk about, about this operation a lot because insert operations is done in the same procedure. Okay, so therefore insert and update operations uh, can be regarded as the same procedure. When it comes to delete operations, however, nearly the same process applies, but with some differences. Firstly, if data page does not exist in memory, of course, it is loaded to memory. The corresponding change is decoded to transaction logs. And after that, the row is marked as hosted and transaction finishes. In the background, a process called host cleanup clears the host pages. Okay, the differences is like hosted pages, not dirty pages, and the process uh, which is responsible for hardening to disk is called host cleanup. Okay, to summarize this video, I want to point out some takeaways. Before any modification, page is loaded to memory, and modifications are recorded to disk synchronously. What I mean is, transactions does not finish until certain this change modification record is transferred to log record. Then, modified pages in memory cache is synchronized to disk with a synchronous process due to latency issues. Thank you very much.